Hello, my name is Thomas and I'm a web application engineer from Tools for Revit and now I will represent one of our tools, SmartFlow. Uh, SmartFlow extension for Revit provides a set of tools for flow slabs, insertion and modification. And the first function is insert update flow. And this function inserts or updates flow slabs according to the boundary of supports and layouts. If no flaw are selected from the model, then this function works like insert function. If any of the flaw is selected from the model, then this function works like update function. Let's start. We have our two dialog window. And the first step we have to enter some group name. And the name of flaw group. The group involves all flaw what are created with the insert function. And we have to make some uh, perimeter of our future uh, flaw. Let's make it start support. Select the start support for the flaws. End support. Uh, select the end support of the flaws. Layout beginning. Select layout and element for the flow and layout and support select layout and element for the flaws uh, for supports and layouts can be selected in these categories it can be walls grids reference planes and structure framings uh, with structure materials set to concrete slash precast or concrete slash steel uh, the perimeter and um, the selected, our selected elements, uh, they do not have to be in closed loop. Yes. And we can add some offset, it's possible offset of how the flow will be inserted to support or layout. Yes, we can save default, it's offset can be saved as default values for future flow inserts, in inserts and lo load default loads offset that they are saved as default and here we have uh, some flow panel vibe you can enter it and in our case it will be this one and um, we can precast flow type you can select uh, the flow type the list of flow types comes from the project and if this checkbox is selected, we can insert holes in our in our uh, flaw, and uh, we can select which this uh, this which if hollows should be inserted, and the hollows have to be placed in the directory of libraries. The directory can be set during the installation, and uh, the hollows are generic models families with voids. Let's select one. And here we can see the thickness, it's the real thickness of the flaw structure. And also a uh, very important thing, it's um, cast in place flaw. Uh, you can select the type of it and uh, the list of flaw types also comes from the project make it a little bit smaller and there is possibility to uh, adjust it that uh, cast in place flow we can adjust in the beginning middle or in the end and uh, here we have layout length total length the total length of flow layout and uh, for example, if our flow panels that was that kind of, the application calculates that there are 11 uh, full flow panels inserted, and we have cast in place wiped this one, and uh, with plus and minus buttons, can uh, the flow panels can be added or removed. If the uh, flow panels will be removed, then the width of cast-in-place flow will be increased.
for example now we have just 10 panels and cast in place floor like this uh, floor panel max length the maximum length of floor panels uh, we can also select the level where the floor panels will be placed and floor offset floor, floor offset from definite level let's insert it okay we have created our slabs I will show you in video yes our slab panels and cast in, in cast in place floor and now if we're selecting our floor and we'll use the function insert update floors it will now works like update function and we can delete group delete all floor panels from selected group the function enables then the existing floor panels selected from the project and we can also update updates all floor panels from selected group by user defined configuration the function enables when the existing floor panel is selected from the project and for example we will we don't want to insert holes anymore and we'll update it okay now we don't have holes anymore uh, if a boundary of our um, group uh, floor group is changed for example I will change it like this we can use update all sm smart floor groups uh, this function updates all small all floor groups that are created in the project this function should be used when changes in model geometry are made yes and we have updated it uh, also I will add some wall here and uh, I will select a couple panels and use uh, function split elements uh, the function cuts selected floor into two pieces for cutting for cutting can be selected these elements there is information you can select walls grid lines reference planes or structure framing okay in our case I will select wall and okay and now we have this panels cutted and if I select I will select couple panels and I can easy and quickly insert void spacing I just have to select what kind of holes I want to insert okay okay and if we see in that 3D view I have already inserted uh, the holes in, in my selected panels or selected floor and that's it that smart floor results you can insert floor slabs according to selected walls grids reference planes or structure framings it has possibility to insert hollows to slabs directly has possibility to modify offsets and positions of floor slabs and you can split floor slabs in different geometrical ways that's it thank you for your patience